Well, a very warm welcome back. It's Andrew Yvonne here, and I'm joined again by Ashley and, most important of all, Sebby Hall. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So, uh, before the, the break, we were talking about the Sebi Hall Foundation, the history and the thousands of acts of kindness that you've done and making people's life feel a lot better. And we also talked about the statue that was erected in your honour uh, by Tower Bridge. And I wandered down to that. Uh, just remind us how that made you feel. How did you feel? Happy inside. Happy inside and very pr proud. proud. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, there's been a bit of a story with the statue. Um, what's the latest regarding it? Because it didn't stay at Tower Bridge, did it? No, it didn't stay at Tower Bridge. It was rather fabulous. I mean, at the time, it was the kindest, loveliest thing ever. It really was a fabulous thing to have. And we we're really grateful, weren't we? It was lovely. And so what happened to it? Uh, it came up to, where did we live? Lithfield. Lithfield. And it was taken into like an art centre place called The Hub. Oh. The Hub where it sat for about six months, which was lovely. We knew it, was, it wasn't going to be forever in that place, but it was great because while it was in the hub, we had, um, you know, school parties went to see it and Sebi's college had a coach trip there with Seb to see his statue, yeah. didn't it? And, and people talked about kindness, so it was really lovely. And actually, there was a little story next to it, but um, the hub needed it out because they were going to make some changes to the hub. So um, we always knew that... It, he couldn't live outside. Um, so um, we were on holiday. We haven't got somewhere for it to go yet, but it was suddenly we had um, a text. I had a text say from uh, the organizers of the competition, um, which said, uh, you've got 24, 36 hours. This was on Wednesday um, to find a new address for this statue. Otherwise we're going to uh, basically, what are they going to do, Seb? Melt it. Melt it. Melt it? Melt it? Brown or recycle it. I know it sounds odd, but that, that was it, you see. So we were like, oh my goodness. Now, there's a little bit of a backstory on the next part because when we were at John Caldwell, which I talked about earlier, the Caldwell Trust, we met the most incredible man, didn't we? Called who? Oh, Ollie. Ollie. Chapman. Chapman. Ollie Chapman. Now, Ollie Chapman is the most kind man we've ever met. Pop yourself, Andrew. Um, and Sebi, of course. And uh just a genius, lovely man. And he listened to Sebi's story. And he came over when we did a presentation at Caldwell and he said, I want to be a part of this. I believe so much in the power of kindness. I want to help promote Sebi. I want Sebi's story to be out there and I want to support whatever goes on. So he was an most amazing man. He's got, a, um, a, he's, I think he's got one of the fastest growing businesses in Europe, I, I believe, Oliver Chapman at OCI. And um, we were amazed and we went to London. We met him in a very, very posh office, didn't we? And Oliver basically said, whatever he can do to help, he wants to, because he would, I, I would love Oliver to come and meet you. And, and I think he would love, love to, but he, he, he had a sort of an epiphany a couple of days before thinking about what's life all about? You know, is it about money? It's about being kind and spreading kindness. And then two days later, met Seb and heard his story and said, it's like this is meant to be some sort of the stars of her line. It was lovely. So because Oliver has a lot of contacts, um, more than Seb and I do, um, when I was faced with this phone call, to say, look, if you don't find the dress for it, and it's really hard, Andrew, because you saw it, didn't you? It's six foot three and on the big plinth, and it's not really oh, it's, it's huge, it's huge. I, I... <laughs> hours to find some home. We did know it was going to come at some point, but not 36 hours when we were on holiday. So um, we were like, oh my goodness, please don't destroy it. So I contacted Oliver and his team, and he's got a, an amazing team, who are the kindest team in the world. And said, look, do you know anyone anywhere that would be able to help us? Because I can't get it out. We're, we're away. Um, and they said, bear with us. We can't have this statue destroyed. Uh, he hadn't even had it for a year yet. So um, the, 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 the people that did the, uh, the competition, which, which was kind, um, we can't let them destroy it. So we'll find a way. So I then got a phone call from them saying, look, we're, we, we're working on this. We've got some great ideas. What if we do um, like a tour of Sebi's statue to spread kindness, you know, during his year of his reign, if you like. 
Uh, so that's a great idea. And there are all these ideas coming forward to not or rebrand, not rebrand it, but just get it out there as a message of kindness. So we were all excited. But then when the company heard that we were thinking of doing some exciting things with it, um, they basically told us that we didn't own it and Sebi didn't own it um, and we couldn't and they were going to go and pick it up. So we were like, but please don't destroy it if you pick it up because we, uh, and there was a big question then of, okay, well, who, who does own this statue in the sense of um, it was Sebi's award anyway. Um, basically then it became a little bit uncomfortable, I would say, um, that we were told that we couldn't have it. Um, and we were told that if we did have it, that we would have to sign a restrictive communication order, like a, I don't know, really a gagging order. That's why Sebi's a bit reticent to talk about it. Um, he has heard stories, um, but I hasn't heard the full story. And soon Sebi's gonna go and have a little wander downstairs unless you want to stay. Are you staying here for the stories? What are you gonna do? He's gonna stay for the moment. But um, basically we were told that if we were to have the statue that we, they'd like us to sign, they'd like Sebi to sign something that says we never mention competition again, that we don't mention uh, anything about it. Um, basically almost rescinding the award really. Um, and um, that if anybody ever asks us like yourself, let's say, we'd have to say no comment and then we'd have to contact them. And it was something, I don't know, they mentioned the next campaign, I don't know. But I mean, the sad thing was really, it, it was only ever gonna be used for something good um, and should really have been there to continue to promote everybody there, the, the, the brand of the competition and just everyone. But it was handled in a quite a clumsy way. And there were some quite strong emails and um, I we, we we read together, don't we, Sebi? So Sebi didn't have to read any of these, which was lucky, um, if you know what I mean. I'm pleased in that sense. And, you know, I've said before, I would never wish a, any disability on anyone. But in this situation, I was quite pleased that we could uh, hold those away. Um, but anyway, what happened was Oliver Chapman and his team said, you know, we want to be behind this and we want to help. So... Luckily, we didn't have to sign anything and we and it has now gone into a storage while it's waiting for somebody for a new home. We've had some offers from uh, some railway stations and some various things, uh, nothing definite yet. But the but Sebi then came up with another idea to rebrand it then if we can't discuss it anymore, which seems which didn't happen in the end. But it that that's what they want. Um where Sebi had a great idea is to find an artist to paint it. Right. So the statue of a person doesn't, you know, it's a Sebi, but actually then it becomes a piece of art because we were in a hotel and we saw like a mannequin, you know, like a mannequin in a shop. Yes. A shop. And she'd got a light bulb on her head with a, <laughs> you know, with a thing. And then she was a wise lady, but she'd been painted in these glorious bright colours. And we looked at her and we're like, oh my God, and Sebi said, let's paint me. So what we're thinking now is actually turn this into a positive again, because that's what Sebi's all about. It's about positive and it's about seeing a way through. And it's about, you know what, this should be a kind story, uh, not an unkind story. Um, so something that's come out of perhaps having a bit of a gagging order try to be put on. Let OK, then we'll rebrand it not really brand it, but we'll paint it and we'll turn it into some sort of piece of art. So we're thinking at the moment, if if we know any artists or anybody knows any artists, I think Sebi, um, there's a statue in uh, North Wales, Linton and Limbeth, that's Ilfracoon, and it's a Damien Hurst, and it's right. a statue, a lady, isn't it, called Verity? And she's got yeah. half a body, half a body with well, a baby inside her, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. And Sebi's fascinated by that statue. So Sebi said, get that man who made that statue to paint my statue. And then the idea could be to then we could auction it off as a piece of art instead of just a competition win. Yeah. 
uh, and then the money would go to help more disadvantaged people. Oh, so, what what a, what a lovely idea! And we had you might remember well, we certainly had them in London. There were lots of things like cows were painted uh, by what? lots of different artists. And you see these popping up uh, with with different ones from from wonderful artists. And and I think we even <laughs> even had sort of corgis at one stage and various other animals have been around London painted. I mean, it's a glorious idea. Um, just going back, I, I I'm a, a little bit confused as to when you talk talking about gagging orders. I mean, I I met some people from the company when I came down. Uh, to film with you that day they're lovely people from the PR company Can you, what, obviously, and obviously the company's not here to, to talk about it what are they saying about the gagging order because that sounds um, a bit strange what, what, what's the story I there gagging order is probably a it's a it's a colloquial term probably that people use it was basically a you know a restrictive communication order really to say you can have this statue um you know, it basically says here, it's, it, you know, under, we understand that the, what we've put back is we understand that you're asking us to sign an agreement to release the statue, basically, is what. Uh, but if you release the statue, uh, we have to sign that Sebi can never discuss his win. He can never discuss the competition. Uh, and when asked about it, he has to notify kind themselves um, in relation to this and say, obviously, we, really, I suppose, no comment uh, to anyone else. So basically saying you can have it, but you can't ever mention that you want it again. Um, so it, it was a bit of a restrictive communication order, really. That's what that's what we've been asked to do, really. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused on this, and they say that the company's not here, but clearly when you win an award... Uh, that was it. That, that, that voted the kindest person. Now, and nobody, I know nobody better who could yeah. have got that accolade. You must have asked, I mean, you must have been a bit puzzled yourself... And as I say, it's important that, that, that we put this in balance and I, I haven't seen the correspondence or anything, but what is the reason that you've been given as to why you're not allowed to mention this award? There is no reason. To do with the next campaign, I believe, was mentioned at some point, but it's not in writing. In writing, it just says you can have it as long as you don't mention the competition ever again. Now, all what was going to happen is they were going to take it back and they were going to hold it, but we then wouldn't be able to either have it or, or utilise it in any way. I mean, we did question it. And, you know, we have said, to be fair, they were so lovely. You know, kinds were fabulous. And I, you know, I'll really put that out there. And it is the best thing that can happen to anybody. And it's a real, real shame the way it was handled in such a clumsy manner. And um, I don't know why they didn't want it used for good, really. Um, but that's what they said. However, the terms and conditions were looked into by, by you know, the team that uh, have, you know, taken it into storage. And we've been, you know, absolutely sure because I, I we totally understand that it was a kind competition and it was the UK's kind hero. It did lose itself in translation, to be fair, to be good. People will say he's the, kind, he's the UK's kindest hero. No, he wasn't. He was the UK kind hero. And we get that. Um, but, and he was voted by the public, but the actual prize in the terms and conditions was a night in a swanky hotel and a statue of yourself. So it was a prize and it was a title. And what we couldn't understand at the time, it's like, you know, if you win a gold medal in the Olympics four years ago, when it gets to the next Olympics, is that the fact you can never mention it again? It's a bit like this. It's like saying, well, because you've had, once the end of your term comes, you can never mention it again because it will, I don't know whether it's going to put a shadow on the next one. I don't know. But that's basically what it is. And, I, you know, I will stress how lovely it was at the time and how fabulous they all were. But it just became unkind. And it was only because we kind of said, well, we, we're so excited. We'd like to have the statue and, and use it for good, not just use it to shove in the garden. Do you know what I mean? Um, so so that, that was it, really. There was no other, they didn't really give a reason. They just said, sign this and then you can have it. If and, not. And you, you say sign this in, in the terms of, you've got that document, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and what, what, what does the document actually say? Uh, it ba that's basically what it says. You know, you will, you can have this statue as long as you sign that you will never uh, sign an agreement to release a statue stating that you will never discuss this win again. Uh, point you, you, you're reading from the document now. Are you? Yeah. Can, can you hold it up? Let's... Yeah, yeah. It's not just on an email here. I've got the email here, but um, I've got them all printed out. So, yeah, but uh, we did, you know, we were looking at, at whether we should sign this. But actually, when we looked at the terms and conditions of the competition, um, it didn't need to be. We didn't need to do that because um, he'd won it, you know, um, but we're just hoping now that what we can do with it is something even better. Sure. Yeah, 
It's been brilliant and it was lovely and we are so grateful for ever. And it was the best day, wasn't it, Andrew? It was a lovely day. Oh, no, no, it's fantastic. And as I say, what what, what I love, the team were superb from kind. I, I really like them. The, Sebi, the, the, the smile on his face when he had, and Eddie was there as well. And, uh, and we all <laughs> unveiled it. We had the yeah. cape on it and there's some glorious pictures. Um, yeah. and, and when you, you originally contacted me again, I, 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 a few times you contacted me and delighted when you first of all say we, we need to find a place to do that. And I went back on GB News and I, I, I was on there and I mentioned it again and they pulled up that lovely picture of us there in the original time when we were in the studio and stuff like that. I love that that they were trying to get the news articles down they didn't want it mentioned you see and that's when they sent the the restrict the, 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 yeah. the... i'm trying to think because I, I say they were such lovely people and for the pr company it's a great company and so on and so forth i'm just puzzled i mean what i, I what do you think the reason might be i all we know all like, all we were told by it was when uh oliver chapman's team are you hiding down there i think the d of e is making he's getting lower and lower isn't oh, <laughs> He's still there, Seth. Um, but um, I think the uh, when, because we were away, we, we couldn't deal with this, you see. That's why I reached out to Oliver's team and said, can you help? Can we find somewhere to take it? Otherwise, you know, it would never have come to that. That's the only reason I reached out to them because we weren't there and I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. And the thought of it being melted down or recycled seems so sad. So um, anyway, so basically they were told because of their next campaign coming up, they didn't they would come and pick it up that's what they were told at the time and that's when they said actually they're asking you to sign this then we then we can go and get it um but then when they looked at the terms and conditions of the competition they said well you don't actually have to do this because it actually is sebi so you can do what you like with it and then oliver Chap Chap chapman's team sent a and that was another fabulous story wasn't it sebi oliver chapman's team sent some uh vehicle to come and get it and we were there and we were waving it off in the hub. Oh, it was going off to storage until somebody somewhere can continue this message of kindness, hopefully Damien Hurst. Do you know Damien Hurst? <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't possibly comment. Or Banksy. Oh, uh, yeah. all seeing it. Uh, well, the, 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 great, the great thing is millions of people around the world will be watching this and saying, we want to try and help you. Because I, I think uh, the message of kindness is absolutely yeah. there. But also turning around, there are lots of artists who are brilliant. As I say, then we did the, the cows, which were done, the various other artwork uh, around London, where I, uh, I am. Um, and so many people have been touched by your story. I, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure they would love love to help. But but to help, help me with this, though, that you said you weren't allowed to talk, with, uh, uh, talk about it, otherwise you lose the opportunity. The fact yeah. that you've now spoken about it, are you concerned that they may say you can't have the statue? No, because what happened was I I kept very quiet because I didn't I don't want this is a fundamentally, regardless of the last 10 minutes, obviously, this is about kindness. This has stemmed from true, true acts of kindness from something that is so pure and really has had the best story ever. And I don't want it tainted by anything particularly negative. So I was really upset because it it felt awful. Some of the emails, I felt it was sad and I felt quite upset by it. So that's why the guy said, well, hang on, let's just check here. Check who, because if it is the fact that you just own it for the year and you can't have it, then fine. But it wasn't the case. So what happened was I didn't sign it and I did go back to them eventually. And I did say, you know, we did know it was going to leave the hub at some point. You're right. We did know that we we're going to find new home but you gave us 36 hours and said you were going to come and get it and destroy it, which is the only reason that the Oliver Chapman team came in uh, because they were in the UK with contacts and help. And they, so basically what happened one there is the team sent a van up and the guys didn't realize that it was upstairs in the venue in this massive, beautiful church being turned into a, an arts venue, an arts venue actually is fabulous, isn't it? And um, this guy has walked in and said, we can't do this. We can't get down the stairs. And we were like, oh, no, please, 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 please do it. Because if you don't do it, I think it might be melted. Then somebody else might come tomorrow and melt it down or something. Anyway, they went back down the stairs and got in their van. And it was a bit panicky, wasn't it? We were like, oh, my God, I'm on the phone going to the to the London team going, they said they can't get it out. And they're saying, oh, right, let me speak to them, let me speak to them. And this guy, he was he was lovely, wasn't he, this this driver? But he just he got almost tears in his eyes saying, I can't help you. We can't get it down the stairs. We're going to go back to London. So suddenly, 
Sebi said, ask people. And there was a, a, it was a market on, Litchfield Market. And so all the storeholders of the market, it was brilliant, um, all, all came forward and said, we'll help. So then suddenly we had this team of community all going up the stairs, knocking on the window of the band. We, what did we do with the band? We, we, ran, no. we ran down the street because he'd driven off. So we were running down the street and we were, Sebi and I were banging, saying, stop, 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 please stop, 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 didn't we? And he did. And he looked and he was shaking his head and we said, please come back, please come back, we've got some help. And then this team of people from the markets literally came and were like, we'll get this out. We will do this. This is, this is not going to be recycled, this statue. So, and they did. And they all went upstairs and they unscrewed it from the bottom and they did. And this team of people carried Sebi <laughs> <laughs> and wrapped him up and we waved him off in this van to go to go down to London where he's sitting in storage waiting for the next chapter of his mission of kindness around the world. Oh, that was like, so he's currently in storage in London. Yeah, that's right. And you are now allowed to take to the next, or does money have to put, change hands with, with the original company? No, no, because it turns out that the terms and conditions said it did belong to Sebi and it was fine. So we haven't, no, we So, so, now, so they're, they're, they're perfectly happy now. It's, it's not an issue at all now. Well, I, they, they haven't said anything since. They've just, uh, I said, I'm not signing it. And I tell you the reason I said I'm not signing it, Andrew. And it's not being bloody minded or anything like that. It's purely because, let's say you and I and Sebi were having a, just a chat. Mm. And I hadn't told you this story. If I'd signed it, you might say, hey, Ash, hey, Seb, do you remember the day we went to London and we did the statue? What they were asking Sebi to do was never mention it again. And I think that's a little bit unkind because if you've won something and you're, what, what did you say you are? You're, pr you're proud of oh. it, weren't you? If you're proud of it, to then have somebody say, actually, you can never discuss it again, we would have to be sitting here to you now saying, I don't know what we'd say, no cop. No comment. No comment. <laughs> no, and I just thought I can't do that. Yeah. And also because Sebi obviously sometimes has to have a spokesperson. Um, they weren't talking to the actual winner either. So they were telling us what to tell him, and he had no choice in that. So I thought, no, I'm not, I can't do that because it's it's it doesn't feel right to be telling somebody who anybody, like I say, if you've won a gold medal in the 100 meter sprint, just because the next Olympics are going on, doesn't mean you say you can't mention your win, does it? And I just thought it's a bit, it, it, in fact, at one point, Sebi turned around and did say, I don't want the statue now anyway. And then he was looking in the mirror and he looked at himself and he said, I'm Sebi, what do you say? He's, he's like a brand, what do you say? I'm Sebi Hall from. Uh, I'm Sebi Hall from Axe <laughs> And he said, what did you say? Awards should be happy. And ha no, awards should be ha happy. happy. He was looking in saying awards should be happy, not handed in. So I did think, mm, put a bit of a sour thing on it. But then we saw, and it's weird you say that, up in Litchfield here, our local hospice has just had the tour of the elephants and these been massive elephants. They've all been painted by local artists. Yes. Lux had the auction in Litchfield Cathedral last week. They raised £244,000. Wow. They're just elephants painted, you know? So it doesn't really matter what it is. Yeah. It's just like they turned into a piece of art. And said he saw these all around. They've been around our town for about three months, raising money for the um, the hospice. And also there was there was, there was was some figures in Birmingham. A load of artists did um, just literally people, just faces, as, uh, like the same size as Sebi. And each artist took their own take on it. What well, Sebi had the idea of, could it go around to some children or some young people and have messages of kindness painted on it or something uh, about kindness? But then then we talked about Verity and Ilfra Coombe, Damien Hurst. And, yes. And the idea grew. But it is obviously a bonkers idea. But actually, if it could be auctioned off and, and re reimagined, it is fine. We do own it. We, everything's all checked and it's all fine. So we can do what we want with it. And instead of it just going to waste, I think it would be a lovely thing to do. Yeah. And, and as you say, the whole reason for it was was it started as an act of kindness. And the very fact that you, Sebi, want to continue that kindness by effectively donating your award uh, to continue to raise money and so on and so forth. So it sounds glorious. Uh, I'm sure, as I say, there are lots of artists and people who might be able to help. There's a couple of things we should 
Bear in mind that it is a huge statue. So there's a couple yeah. of things. So it's not something somebody said, I'm going to buy you for Christmas, put it on the mantelpiece. It's, oh, it, it it's is. Uh, it's six foot uh, three. On a plinth. Tell us the dimensions of it. So how, how big is it and how heavy is it? Well, Sebi is six foot three. Stand up, Seb. Look, he's going to disappear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, where you got your T-shirt, Sebi? Oh. Be, be kind. Be kind. Be kind. Yes, very good. So it's very size. So it is on a, a metre wide plinth, a metre high plinth. However, we have looked when, when it was taken down. It's attached to the plinth, but, it, but the plinth could be made smaller. That's and if and if kind do want their branding taken off it, that's fine anyway because we can we we can change that. So essentially, it's six foot two with six a bit of two. And how do you know how heavy it is? Very light, really light. It's made of a. It's like a recycling. It was done. You went. We went to. Um, it was three D printed. Right. And he went for two hours and and had to stand really still. What pose did you have to do? A super. Yeah, uh, no, you have to show Andrew stand up too. <laughs> Andrew, like that superhero. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it does look like superhero. Thing. But and so, so they did a three D model, amazing. But but you're saying that it can't live outside. That's the important thing, isn't it? Oh, it can't live outside. No, it can't live outside. So it needs. And we'd like to say the other idea was it goes like a month in one town and a month in another, and whichever town it's in, the money raised for disadvantaged or dis disabled young people in goes to the people of that town. So therefore. It's an incentive for a town to say, you know what, we've got the Sebi kind of statue this month or for two months. That's another idea we were thinking. But um, we had these bonkers ideas. But then, like I say, Sebi once said to me he was going to make Ukrainian children smile. And we said, you're not going to be able to do that. And you know what he did. So watch this space. Yeah. So uh, if people will be watching this and I, I can guarantee people will want to help in what whatever way. How can they get in touch in very practical terms? Uh, because if you get lots of artists suddenly turn around and say, yes, we'd like to do it. There's obviously only one statue. How will yeah. you decide? Well, we'll ring Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> ring Andrew Eborn. No, no, no. <laughs> um, well, obviously we've got sebihall.com um, and it's hello at the, an email address, hello at sebihall.com. Um, Yes, hello at sebihall.com, isn't it? Your email address. Um, but also um, there's a guy called Eric at the Can Group, at C-A-N, and Eric at the Can Group uh, said he would deal with anything like that for us. So the Can Group uh, is a big PR uh, agency that we're helping. Um, and um, so Eric at the Can Group as well, either either of those, or just through the Sebi Hall website, uh, or ring Andrew Eborn. Yes, it's always. Oh, I'm delighted to help. I mean, at Andrew Eborn, at Octopus TV, uh, and as I say, anybody who can get in touch and help in that way uh, would, would be absolutely brilliant. What sort of time limit do we have on it? It's currently in storage in London. Is there a time limit? I think I don't think it's going to sit there forever. Uh, but it, you know, it's, they're not kicking it out, so that's that's absolutely fine as well. And with the I what what said he, his next dream? I, in fact, you said his next dream. He wants to do a kindness concert. So not Sebi singing, although he does like a bit of a sing song. Yeah. Oh, do you? <laughs> so you don't like a bit of a live aid. Yes. Sebi's idea that no one's ever done a concert for kindness. So with the statue sitting there all about kindness, Sebi would like to do a big concert for kindness. And, and, and you know, people that are uh, musicians or singers or whatever come forward as an act of kindness and do a song or something. Um, and... And, and raise money by doing a concert for kindness. What and a I've lovely got... idea. So instead of a KFC, you can have a CFK. Yes, I like that. There you go. You <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I think it's so fantastic. I wish you every success with this mission. I do hope that people will be in touch. Just remind people one more time how they can get hold of you. Sebihall.com or hello at sebihall.com for the uh, email. But I mean, the most important thing I'd like to leave on this, what Sebi wants is, um, and what we all want, and Oliver Chapman and everybody, is to spread, one boy is trying to change the world through kindness and Sebi believes he can. And like I say, he wants to melt people's hearts and and he has done and you, you know he's doing it. But so if one person like Seb can do what he's done, on his own. Imagine if other people got forward. We could do that legacy, and we could do that. You know, housing for young people with disabilities. Um, you know, so they're not. What happens to somebody with a disability that said they couldn't live with their parents anymore, or um, they are <clears throat> tendered out? So Sebi, for example, would be tendered. 
Um, so his name would go into a big pot in a, your local government uh, council and people would tender and bid and say, we can, we can look after this person and the money would come in and that is where we'd have to live without choice. So if we can do anything to aid, not work against, uh, but to aid uh, the housing process of the likes, you know, the likes of oh, we're not around, then, you know, this is going to affect Sebi and, and all his friends and, and many more people. So if we could develop something to go forward, that is that's that's the dream. OK, uh, Se Sebi and Ashley, thank you so much for joining me again. Keep me posted. I'm going to be here all the time. Uh, we're going to be watching this and hopefully those watching at home uh, will be able to assist as well. But for now, Sebi and Ashley, thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.